My expectations are that, first of all, we as a GIZ group working on the same issue of food system come together and exchange uh, where we are, what we are doing. And while doing that, develop new ideas, innovative ideas for new approaches. Because overall, what we want to do, need to do to really transform food systems in Africa. The, the concrete areas uh, we and the colleagues in particular are working on in the working groups are, you know, new innovative ideas with digital in, in the area of digitalization, where to use new digital methods in, 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 in the agri sector. Um, another area we continue working on is develop products such as the Pharma Business School which we're already using to train farmers in more than 10 countries in Africa. And of course, another very important area is the gender transformative uh, uh, approaches we are increasingly implementing. The question on where we really have most impact currently is very difficult. Um, I think uh, generally, my, personally, I think when we work with the people in rural areas, that's where, uh, unfortunately, people currently are suffering most and that's where we need to continue working on maybe even put more effort on, on really working with farmers and with people and with women and young people in particular. There is sort of an, an inherent criticism of digitalization as basically uh, adding to the digital divide in a new era, basically. In other words, it doesn't really help people on the ground as much. What would mm. you say to that? Yeah. I, I don't agree that digitalization doesn't help people on the ground. Um, people on the ground actually are using already digital tools such as simple phones. And, 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 and the tools that governments and organizations are, are, are implementing to, to, for example, analyze uh, uh, um, developments finally also help them. Of course, everything we are doing, we have to look at, you know, the no, leave no one behind uh, um, concept, um, but overall digital tools are helping develop uh, uh, development in many areas. You mentioned the, the phones. The what? Uh, the phones, the telephones, yeah, yeah. smartphones yeah. on the ground. In a way, I think the digitalization discussion is not about those phones. I think that is first generation. We're talking about the artificial intelligence, GPS systems for tractors, mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. What what did you say to that? What where are you throwing your mm -hmm. well, all 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 developments start somewhere, so the phones are a start into a digital world in, in Africa and other parts of the world. GPS is not really new. We're using GPS for many, many years, and it's been very, very helpful, I think, in particular in the agricultural sector. Of course, there are many dangers and risks of artificial intelligence in Africa and, again, in other parts of the world. That's why governments and, and, and certainly development projects such as ours really have to look at the risks and the impacts very closely. Overall, I believe what we're doing in many countries, working with partners and with governments, is going in the right direction. It's a process. We have been starting many years ago, and, and we have to continue looking at the right things. Maybe, and certainly in some areas, we have to adjust, we have to adapt, we have to change, and we have to discuss what we can do better to maybe also accelerate development and, and point finger on areas which are not working. But, but development is a process, and, and um, we are not there yet.